I just don't want them. <laughs> Jay and today I have an unhaul video. I know surprising that I'm actually getting rid of things instead of buying things uncontrollably. I have a couple of books here that I've read and I just don't want on my shelf anymore. A couple of them I read and really didn't like so I don't want them on my shelf. A couple of them I've read, I liked them but not enough to keep them on my shelf and then a couple of them I was sent for review and just didn't enjoy them so so they're getting sent off to the thrift store so other people can hopefully enjoy them more than I did so without further ado let us get started <sighs> so the first book I have is called Lost and Found and this is by Brooke Davis and I actually thought this book was cute I liked the story it's not one that I really need on my shelf I'm kind of bummed about it because I really like the cover I think it's so simplistic but just so cute and if you've read the story it really goes with it but I just don't need it anymore and I don't need it on my shelf because I'm never gonna reread it so it's going to the thrift store the next book I have I read didn't love it don't need it on my shelf anymore and it is falls the shadow and this is by Stephanie Gaither I got it from the dollar store and I wasn't really expecting much out of it didn't get much out of it so it can go off to the thrift store the next two books that I have are both graphic novels that the publisher just kind of sent to me without me requesting them but I mean thank you to the publisher that was really cool it was like my first unsolicited mail book stuff so I was super excited about it they are five worlds the sand warrior and five worlds the cobalt prince and these are by Mark Siegel they were entertaining at the time but I didn't love them I'm not going to ever pick them up again so they're just gonna take up room on my shelf so I figured send them off to the thrift store hopefully somebody else will love them more than I did the next book I was sent to be part of a tour for and it is the crossover by Heather Horst the book was okay. I liked the beginning of it, but as the story progressed, it got way far-fetched and just wasn't up my alley. It wasn't something I was going to ever pick up again, so I don't need it on my shelf anymore. It's about aliens, though, so that was cool, but not my thing. The next book, same thing as the last one. I was sent it to be part of a tour, and it is... Tiki Kose's Mercy Brown. This follows like vampires and I just don't need it on my shelf. It was like a hundred and something pages and very very short. I'm never gonna reread it so it's just taking up room. The next book I have <laughs> was so stupid that I don't even want to look at it. I'm never gonna reread it. I just don't want it on my shelf. I don't want to have to look at it. It was just not good. And the worst part of the book was that it sounded like it was gonna be so good and then it just was not. But it is A Sister's Secret and this is by Sydney Rax. It's just very stereotypical African Americans being ghetto and I just was not here for it because like, no. Just now. And then the final book, I'm actually like super bummed. I didn't like it. And it is Before I Let Go by Marike Nijkamp. I was super excited about this. I thought I was gonna love it. It just fell super short for me. So I figured send it to the thrift store. I know a lot of people love this book. So hopefully somebody will pick it up and love it. All right, guys. So that was my unhaul for this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read them and if you actually liked any of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!